Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Was out here today working on a, some hubs, putting a bowl pattern in, in and was watching uh, Stefan's video on uh, vices and vice deflection. And he was asking about the cart vices. So I decided to get my best indicators out and put them on my 8 inch cart vice and see what we got. So I'm going to get you set up here where you can see the vise and we'll take a look at it and see how much it moves now it's eight inch cart vise it's a pretty massive piece it's like a 200 pound vise pretty sure and uh, it feels like a lot when you gotta pick it up and sit on the mill table anyway so let's check it out all right so hopefully you guys can see these all right i've got my aims this is a tense indicator this one over here reads in half thousandths increments. And to start off with, I've just got a mill toe clamp here in the bottom. And that messed my indicator up. And uh, we're going to do it in the bottom of the vise the way that it's intended. Yep, that one's creeping up. Tensor sensitive anyway. We got that in there and I got the regular curd arm on here and I'm gonna horse this thing down pretty good. And that's pretty tight right there. And we've got a actually this jaw is pulled down a tenth. And this one over here has deflected also about one tenth. So pretty good. Like I said, this is a beefy vise. Now let's uh, change the way this toe's in here. Let's set it up on some parallels and do it up to the top. See how much it cranks it off. All right, I think I got somewhere where we can repeat. Let's tighten it back up. And that time, this jaw didn't pull down any. It stayed the same. And this other one over here, it's gone uh, two tenths pushed back. Do it again. Yep, just under two tenths. And that's pretty tight. Now I doubt this clamps a precision machine surface, but we'll go ahead and give it a go anyway. My, get my indicator set back up. Getting some interesting readings on this one before. So I decided to not only have indicators on this side, but to put an indicator on the back side so I could see how much this was pushing back when I clamped it up. So I tighten it up here. Alright, so we're just over two uh, thousands down there. And we're showing about two and a half thousandths up here. And we're about two and a half thousandths back there too. So the reality is it's pushed this whole thing back uh, two thousandths when I clamped it. That... Uh, It 
it's got enough give against this back jaw for it to move that much. But like I said, you know, this, uh, the big handle on this car here, it's got a lot of leverage. Tighten that thing up. You know, that's probably, that's, uh, I have to look in the book, but I think it's about 10,000 pounds on this 8 inch, is what it's rated. Because uh, this handle, it's, you know, it's over a foot long, it's probably 18 inches. So it's got a lot of leverage on it. So that's the testing of the Kurt Vice. I uh, hope you learned something. I did. It's actually better than I thought it would be as far as how much movement it's got. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, thanks for sending us down this road, Stefan. And for those of you that don't know about his channel, I'll put a link down there. Uh, I think he's on my uh front on my home page of my channel but uh, I'll put a link to his channel anyway so you can check it out where he was doing some testing on his vices and thanks for watching thanks for subscribing